Hi there folks, welcome back to my channel and for this video I have come back to Kirk and Tillich. and I think the last time I was in Kirk and Tillich was to go visit Peel Park which had Park Fenstein Mall run through it uh, but for this visit I've come to Merklin's local nature reserve which is just off Merklin's Drive and um, yeah so I think it's a bit of one of the many uh, local nature reserves that are kind of just hidden away and surrounded by houses and uh, is very obviously popular with uh, local dog walkers. I've already seen two people out with their dogs so far and I've just been here a couple of minutes. So I'm going to grab a bag in a second and go for a wander and go for a wee, a wee explore, try and see what I can find. And yeah, so it looks like it's going to be a really nice little place. Some of the trees are starting to go blossom a wee bit as well, so that's going to be nice. And before I do that, if you if you're enjoying my channel, if you enjoy my videos, if you can click on the subscriber button, click on that notification bell, leave some likes, leave some comments, it's always really appreciated. And if you'd like to support the channel further, I will post a link to the channel's coffee.com page and the channel's TikTok account in the description bar below and in the pinned comment in the comments section. So with that out of the road, I'm gonna grab a bag and head on out. So this is a, the sign for the nature reserve. So this area was dominated by coal mining. And if you are coming in, yeah, there is a car park, but just be careful. Uh, they have put in quite a, a narrow entrance, quite a windy entrance. They can obviously make sure people don't speed into the car park. Yeah, I know it's probably not the clearest from this uh, video, but it does actually look like it's going to be quite a good sized wee nature reserve. So, definitely plenty to explore. Yeah, it's typical March weather. The sun's out, but looks like there might be some rain later on at some point. And when the wind dies down, it's actually quite warm. But when the wind gets up, there's definitely a chill in the air, so if you ever do go to Scotland in, in spring, early, especially early spring, yeah, do come prepared for the weather to be very changeable. The fox statue in there. Yeah, the trees are starting to bloom. No idea what those birds are, but I think there might be some sort of finch. Got wee kind of dark grey backs, wee kind of black heads, kind of orangey red breasts. Also, people have been in making dens in the woodland. And even though you can hear the sound of the traffic from nearby roads, actually within the nature reserve itself, it's relatively calm and peaceful and there are a number of paths and trails through the reserve itself so definitely plenty to explore Yeah, it's managed to come off the, the main path. Found this little pond hidden away. Yeah, 
Yeah, they've got quite a few of these wee wooden sculptures dotted around the nature reserve, so that's something to keep an eye out, an eye out for. And they're definitely all seem to be kind of relevant to the landscape within the nature reserve. There was a, a frog over at the pond, the rabbits here in the grassland, and uh, a wee fox over in the woodland. And this is how close the nature reserve is to the actual housing. I'll just come around the corner here and I'll let you see. Yeah, and there's more housing over there. So even though it does feel like it's a wee, a waste of nature, Kirk and Tillich is pretty much surrounding it on all sides. Well, that's me back from a little wander around the Merkland local nature reserve. And I can say it is one of those places that's deceptive in its size. I was not expecting there to be as much land or kind of ground within the nature reserve than there actually is. I thought it was going to be a lot smaller, so you probably could spend quite a wee while just wandering around here and exploring and finding what there is within the nature reserve. And yeah, so I'm kind of glad I came across this little nature reserve and I can, I'm glad that I came to visit. Because again, it's just nice to be able to get out and get some fresh air, blow the cobwebs away and just stretch the legs. And even though the weather is still a bit iffy right now, it's just, again, it was just nice to be able to get out and enjoy being outside. Again, if you are coming to Scotland in spring, especially March into April, do expect the, the weather to be a bit changeable. And um, because recently there's been, we've had, I think it was about a week of uh, unseasonably warm weather. And yesterday, the day before it was snowing. So just goes to show weather in Scotland can be that changeable. But hopefully you will all have enjoyed this video. Uh, I definitely enjoyed coming out here to, to film it. And hopefully I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.